What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second time that I'm filming this video because the first time the entire video wasn't in focus. Hello, well, if you are new, my name is Rachel. This is my two month old golden retriever named Koba J. And I also have a 16 month old golden retriever that you will see walking around named Larcy. In today's video, I'm going to be going over everything that we got for our new puppy. Now this isn't going to be the same as when we got Larcy as she was the first puppy, the first dog that we ever had. Now that we have two dogs we don't need quite as much so if you did see a Larcy's haul for when we got her this is going to be much smaller and much more simple if you're not already make sure that you're subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the like button The first thing that I'm going to share is Koba's blanket. This is actually something that we got from our breeder. They made everybody blankets this year and we all got to pick a blankie for the puppies. And this was the blankie that we picked for Koba. So she has been sleeping with it in her crate every single night since we got her. Another thing that we got for Koba was a little sister bandana that matches Larcy's big sister bandana because I'm very extra and uh, go out of my way for things like this so we had a whole little photo shoot with them and their matching bananas we also got Koba, her very own snuggle puppy. If you've been watching us, you know that I'm a very big fan of snuggle puppies. We got Koba J, the white one, and it's kind of ironic because she is so much lighter than Larcy. So Larcy has the really dark one that's Biscuit, and I think this one's called Golden, but it definitely looks more white in person. If you're not familiar with a snuggle puppy, they come with a heartbeat that mimics the heartbeat of another dog so that way they don't feel alone when they're sleeping and there also is heat packs that you can put inside of there as well again to help mimic another dog sleeping with them. Of course we also had to get her her very own harness so this is the harness that we got for Koba J. This is from Wild One. I love 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 Wild One. We also got the leash that matches the harness and Larcy has this exact same one but in the light pink color. This is the Size small. It is slightly big on Koba. It is the smallest size that they had, but that's okay because she is going to grow into it. We also got a new bottle of odor and stain remover because puppies mean accidents and it's inevitable. It's going to happen. So we bought a new bottle just in case and with that comes a ton of paper towels. So we bought a big thing of paper towels and luckily I think Koba's only had three accidents. She has had two right when we first brought her home and then she just had one recently. So overall she's doing pretty good. I also got a bunch of these. These are rose gold foil letter balloons because I'm very extra and I wanted to have enough balloons to spell her name for her photo shoot. They're adorable and I bought ones that spell Larcy's name as well for the same reason. We also had to get Koba her very own toothbrushes. So there is a purple and blue one that's out right now. That's the one that she's currently using. But these are the ones that I used when I first got Larcy and I really really like these ones. The ones that I use for Larcy now are too big for a puppy but just to give you an idea there's brushes on all three sides which <laughs> they both love brushing their teeth can you tell <laughs> So that way it's just easier whenever you're brushing her teeth just to worry about brushing them on the top and it gets all three sides. Okay girls, I know we're not brushing our teeth right now though, okay? We also wanted to get Koba her very own set of Nyla bones. Larcy loves Nyla bones, but her Nyla bones are just really big for Koba right now. So we wanted to get her some little bones so that way she had something to help entertain herself while she is in the crate. She definitely loves these as you can tell, but we do only let her have these in the crate just because Larcy wants to play with them too. And they are just simply too small for Larcy and I don't want her choking on them so we make sure that we keep them separate. Then we also decided to get Koba her very own Binky Kong and uh, if you know us you know that we really love our Binky Kong that we had for Larcy. So I decided why not get one for Koba and when I ordered it I thought I ordered the same size. I was wrong. So this is the Binky Kong that we have for Larcy and uh, this is the one that we ordered for Koba. <laughs> so this is a size medium and this must be a small because as you can see it's definitely a lot smaller than the blue one. The blue one says that it's for puppies up to 15 pounds and uh, there's no freaking way that thing is huge. But she got her very own Binky Kong so I think what's gonna happen is this is probably gonna end up becoming Larcy's and the pink one's going to end up becoming Koba's. 
but we love these. These are great for keeping them occupied. They love, love, love licking the puppy peanut butter out of this. They're fighting over the pink one right now. Then, of course, I also had to get a brand new memory card for Koba. I did the exact same thing whenever we got Larcy, just so that way I could keep all the initial footage that we had of them. So I didn't want to have to delete it and have to reuse the card. So I want to just be able to keep all the initial raw footage that we have of both girls on their own memory cards. So that's what I did with Koba. We also, of course, got her her very own food bowl and water dish, and we ended up going with the same one that we just got for Larcy, and it has a slow feed bowl built into it, which is really, really nice because you can take it right out. Whenever we first got Koba, we tried using the slow feed part, and it was just way too deep for her snout. She wasn't able to get in there, so we had to take it out, and now she just eats straight off of the mat, which is fine. It works for us now, but I know if she gets older, if she ends up becoming a vacuum like Larcy does, even if she doesn't, I will be grateful to have a slow feeder bowl. So we are a very big fan of those. They fold right up into each other so they're super easy to move around. We got a little hanging wall thing, I don't even know what you would call it, shelf. And it's just basically to hold their harnesses and their leashes whenever we are going outside. We always have their urine flashlight on there and we always have an extra bag of poop bags just in case we run out while we're outside. But it came out super cute. I had it made on Etsy and we love it. Then of course we got her food. She has to eat, obviously. And and we got her the 4Health Puppy Formula. Not our choice, but that is what the breeder has them on. So we have to keep it the same for a little bit. But we are almost out of this bag, which is great because then we are going to be switching her to the Purina Pro Plan Large Breed Puppy Food, which is exactly what we did with Larcy. So that's our plan. We are really happy with that transition for Larcy. I also got them these matching keychains and she also has the exact same ornaments that Larcy does. They were on our tree the whole time, but obviously we didn't show them because we didn't tell anyone that we were getting her yet. But we have a paw print and a little bone. They're both rose gold and white, also made from an Etsy shop. So since I filmed this video like two weeks ago, she's gotten a few more things since then. Every single month for their birthdays, we did the same thing with Larcy. They get a new treat, they get toys, they get something nice, and then we do something fun with them. With Koba, we got her some new balls. I can only find two of them right now. I'm sure one of them is stuck under the couch somewhere but they are these colorful, they're supposed to mimic bath bombs, but there's also a blue and green one that she got and they just squeak. <laughs> Both the girls immediately stopped doing what they were doing. Here, but that's what she got for her birthday gift for her two month old birthday. And then Valentine's Day also came and Valentine's Day was the very first holiday that we had with Koba J. And I'm extra, like I said, so we obviously had to do stuff to celebrate. So we had a little photo shoot and I got them these matching bandanas from a company that Larcy works with called Darling Pup Co. If you order anything there, make sure you use the code Larcy10. But look how cute these are for Valentine's Valentine's Day. I love them. So they each got one with the little candy hearts. And then of course we had to get them some presents. So we got them a new big Nyla bone. This is a peanut butter one. The reason why I got them the big one is because this is one that they can share together. Like I said, the little ones I don't really want Larcy playing with right now. So they love each chewing on an end of this and just like fighting and carrying it around the house. We also got them these little chained hearts to play with. We got them this pig that they love. <coughs> Definitely a fan of this. Koba loves this toy. I think this is her favorite Valentine's Day gift. Then we also got some new treats. These are turkey ones. I don't think Larcy's ever had any turkey treats, so this is totally new for her. We only gave Koba one because we're still being very picky about her having any new treats. We just want to introduce things to her very, very, very slow because she is still so little. And then we got them this really big snake that has all these squeakers, so all these puppy parts. I think there's like six of them, yeah. Full of squeakers. They love squeakers. Obviously the more squeakers, the better. They each pick an end. Again, they fight and drag it around the house. 
They love it. I also had to get Koba her very own tag, just like I did with Larcy. And I got it from the exact same company, so it is literally the exact same match, colors, fonts, everything. It's from Lily Reed Designs on Etsy. I will leave it linked down below. But how freaking cute is that? And then it just has, obviously, our address on the back. And then Friendship Collar also sent us these matching friendship collars for the girls. This one is Koba J's, and Larcy has one to match. So freaking cute. Love them. They look so classy, good quality. Very, very excited to test these out. And also, Picasso reached out to us and decided to send us this custom pillow of Larcy that is hand drawn and they sent us this really cute poster that I already have framed of Larcy. Um, how freaking cute is that? I love it. So thank you to you guys and now I have to get ones of Koba J so that I have one of each of them to match. But I love them. How freaking cute are these? They turned out so Good, so much cuter than I could have ever expected. So yeah, that's everything that we got for our second golden retriever, our brand new puppy, Copa J. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this. Again, like I said, if you're not subscribed, make sure that you hit that red subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Make sure you're following all of us on Instagram. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, say bye.